Hey Dreamers! The other day I tweeted out simply the results of my ticker symbol O, Realty Income, for the month of March and compared it to last month. And people kind of freaked out, which surprised me. The tweet read, How the snowball works in micro increments. Ticker symbol O last month was $251.32. And ticker symbol O this month was $252.78. Now imagine a hundred other stock positions kicking off dividends just like this, month after month, quarter after quarter, year after year. Then there was a retweet and another retweet. And some comments like, this is insane, and a lot of likes. So I guess I was reminded that once you get how the snowball works, people tend to get really excited about it. So let me tell you about how I plan to coast towards a $3 million snowball in 15 years and give you a few other scenarios that might help you see your own future with money you have now. Now I've calculated out my scenario plus three other scenarios with different rates and different money invested amounts. So let's start with my scenario. Right now, I have $1,550,000 invested in dividend-producing stock. My total return on that portfolio is 4.55, and I'm looking at about a 15-year runway. So year one, let's say it's this year, I'm starting with 1.5, and I expect my return to be $70,525, roundabout. So I should end the year at $1.62 million, assuming that I do not put in any more money and I'm not accounting for dividend increases. So if I exit the year at 1.62, then next year I will make $73,734. And so my total return over those first two years would be $144,259 and I would end the year just under 1.7. And so you can start to see how the dividend snowball grows. In, the, in year three, I'll make $77,000. Year four, I'll break $80,000. And by year six, I will have crossed the $2 million total monies invested milestone, which will make $92,000 the following year. And by year nine, my portfolio will start making $100,000 in annual income. That's that elusive $100,000 that I'm going for. So hopefully somewhere right after 2030, I'll get there or sooner. (laughs) Okay, so let's keep going. So by year 11, I'll be breaking that 2.5 million mark. And then as we go to the right, you can see year 15 is the year that the the compounding snowball brings me over that $3 million mark with no additional investments. So essentially, it's a coast scenario. I'm simply coasting towards that $3 million milestone at the end of year 15. Okay, let's move on to the other scenarios. So scenario one, let's say you have $10,000 right now and you are able to get a 6% return and you want to know what that's going to get you in 30 years. So in your first year, that money is going to make 600 bucks. And in the second year, it's going to make $636. Now by year two, you're thinking, man, it's been two years and uh, I haven't gotten very far. (laughs) This is um, very discouraging. But you need to keep going because the runway looks better and better the farther you go out. So so by year 10, you've crossed the $1,000 a year mark in annual dividend income. And by year 13, you've doubled your initial investment. So not only have you doubled your initial investment and made and now have $21,000, but that $21,000 is also making you $1,200 a year. So if we keep going out, 
you can see that by year 19, you cross the $30,000 mark, and that money is making you $1,712 in dividend annual income. And by year 24, you've crossed the $40,000 mark, and that amount is making you $2,000, $291 in dividend annual income. And by the 30th year, you have $57,434, making you $3,251 that year. So all of that is off of an initial investment of $10,000 at 6%. Let's go to another scenario. So in this scenario, you start with $50,000. So let's say you have $50,000 today, and you are able to get a 5% return on your portfolio, and you want to know where you end up in 30 years. Well, in the first year, you make $2,500, and then end the year with $52,500. Fast forward to the fifth year, you're making over $3,000, and end the year at $63,814. By year 10, you've made $81,444 and have an annual income of $3,878. And by year 15, you have effectively doubled your money and have $103,946 and almost $5,000 a year in annual income. And so if we look all the way forward at the 30th year here, you end at 216,097, making $10,290. Let's take a look at the third and final scenario. Let's say you have $100,000 today, but you only get a return of 4% yield, and you're looking across 30 years. Well, at the end of year one, you'd end up with $104,000, and by the end of year 10, you'd be at 148K, making you $5,693 for year 10. As we go forward in time, you can see year 18 is where you cross the $200,000 marks. So that's where you double your money at 202,581, which makes you $7,791. And then if we go all the way to the end of that 30-year mark, you will end up with $324,339, making you $12,474. The last thing I want to point out is this total returns line. So here's scenario one with that $10,000 at 6%. And as we go out to the farthest end of this, year 30, you can see that in this scenario, the compound snowball made $47,434. Now let's go to scenario two. You can see for the $50,000 at 5% that this person made $166,097. That is the compound snowball amount for this scenario. And in the third scenario, starting at 100,000 at 4%, this compound snowball made $224,339. Now in my case, I, starting with $1.5 million at a rate of 4.55 and only 15 years, my compound snowball will be 1.471289. So what have we learned? There are really three major levers for the compounding snowball effect. It's rate, time, and amount. In terms of rate, even the smallest amount matters. 0 0.25%, 0 0.5%, 1%, 1%. It all matters a lot. So think about that when you're putting together your mix of portfolio yield. The second thing is time. Time matters a ton. I always say it happens slowly, then suddenly. Starts as a pebble at the top, but by the end of the hill, that avalanche is huge. And your amount matters. 
Think about how to contribute as much as you can, as young as you can, because those last few years really start to pick up speed. Well, I hope you enjoyed that look at different compounding snowballs and also help you understand how immense and powerful it can be. Perhaps that will help you strategize your path forward. As always, I encourage you to do your own scenario planning, your own research, and keep learning. As a reminder, I'm not a financial advisor, so keep in mind these videos are for entertainment and inspiration only, and I will see you on the flip side.